On June 28, 2013, the Meadows will celebrate its 50th anniversary. As we approach that milestone, we remember some of the people, horses, and events that have been a part of the track's rich history. It took a lot of work to get the Meadows ready for a June 28, 1963 opening. Hundreds of workers pulled together to build a grandstand and barns. Even more worked on the wiring and tote system. Yet more work had to be done on the roadways around the area. But perhaps the most famous part of the construction of the Meadows was the track itself, the Tartan Track. In 1957, a thoroughbred trainer challenged one of his owners to create a surface that would hold up to horses and not be affected by weather. That owner was the chairman of the board of 3M, the Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company, and raced under the name of the Tartan Stable. The Tartan surface was first tested on a walking ring at Belmont Park, then in the on-deck circle used by the Minnesota Twins, next as a parking lot at the 3M Company. Finally, in the winter of 1962-63, a 20-foot wide strip was installed at Max Hemp's Training Center near Harrisburg. The Tartan track then debuted at the Meadows on opening night. The 80-foot wide track had a price tag of $750,000, but required little upkeep. The first race in track history was won by Wee Crusader with Dick Wood driving. The winning time was 2.08 and 1.5. This photo from the archives of the Washington Observer Reporter newspaper captures the moment. Longtime Meadows patron Joe Fusco was in attendance on opening night. Well, the first memory started with the trip down to the track. I lived in Hempfield Township, came down with my father and the next door neighbor, and Route 70 wasn't completed at the time. You went down so far, had to get off, get back on one, Route 136, back on 70, back on 136, then eventually 70. So it was really a journey to get down to the track. But the first night, it was packed. Now I had just graduated from high school, and my eyes were wide open. and. Uh, and it was a very nice night, and it was, uh, like I say, pe people, uh, very many on the apron level, and it, it was an enjoyable thing, and my eyes were open to uh, harness racing for me for the first time. There weren't a lot of wagering options. Uh, it was a later post, but that was a lot of people uh, needed that time to get home from work, and for us to trip down, you know, it took us a while to get here, so that worked out good for us. But the, I can remember, but you had a wager in one area, and to cash your ticket, you had to go behind the uh, area where you wager to get your money. It was in two different places, altogether different than it is now. But I'll tell you what else I remember was the ad tab that they sold out in front of the uh, track, the, uh, giving you tips on what horses were going to win and uh, you know, several horses to play throughout the evening. 7,461 people attended the Meadows on June 28, 1963, a successful opening and the beginning of a harness racing tradition.